Hi and welcome to my channel and this week's problem is all about finding the area of this rectangle. Now this rectangle has been split up with two lines from the bottom left hand corner to the top of the uh, rectangle and the right hand side of the rectangle making three, uh, well two triangles and one quadrilateral but they've all got the same area A. Those three different shapes inside our rectangle have the same area a. Now you can see as well the measurements the top right of this triangle made by these two lines across the rectangle. Three along the top and two on the top right going vertically. Now I'm going to go through and show you my solution to this problem in a few seconds so if you want to have a go at this problem yourself pause the video now otherwise I'm going to show you my solution in three two one. Okay now what I'm first going to do, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller because we're going to need some room, uh, but then I'm going to label the uh, sides X and Y. So along the bottom, I'm going to call that X and vertically, I'm going to call that Y, so the height of the rectangle. I'm now going to label the other sides of the rectangle. So we've got Y minus 2 below the 2 centimetres and X minus 3 along the top next to the 3 centimetres. What we can then do is we can start working out the area of the triangles in terms of uh, x's and y's so we get a half x brackets y minus 2 is equal to a and a half y brackets x minus 3 is also equal to a because that is the area now we can then work out the area of the trapezium and now that is the bottom right hand triangle and the central area I can work out the area of that trapezium by using half the sum of my parallel sides and times the height between them so I have a half brackets x and plus 3 because they're the parallel sides and then a height of y. Now to then work out that central area a I'm then going to have to subtract from that um, an a so that I then get the central area. Now the a I'm taking away from that is the bottom right hand triangle. That will leave me with an area of a which like I keep saying is the central area that quadrilateral in between the two triangles. Now if I rearrange the area of that trapezium I get a half brackets x plus 3 times y is equal to 2a. What I want to do here at this point is double all of the equations. So at the minute we've got a half as a factor of uh, all of them so if we double everything we're going to get all of these equations are now well two of them I, I should say the triangles are equal to 2a and this central quadrilateral is equal to 4a once we've doubled both sides of the equations. Uh, now what I want to do next is I notice that I've got x plus 3 and x minus 3 times by y in different equations. So if I divide those two equations, the last one divided by the one just above, that is my triangle at the top left, then I get this. So x plus 3 in brackets y divided by y in brackets x minus 3 is equal to 4a divided by 2a. Now I can simplify that to x plus 3 over x minus 3 by cancelling the y's and 4a divided by 2a is 2. Now if I multiply both sides here by x minus 3 I get x plus 3 is equal to 2x minus 6. Take away an x from both sides and I get 3 is equal to x minus 6. Add the 6 to both sides and we get that x is equal to 9. Okay, now that's very useful, so let's put that to one side, and now what I can do is I can plug that in to all of the equations that I have, or uh, made earlier on. So if I replace x in all those equations with 9, I get this, and if I simplify all of those, suddenly they're all a lot nicer. So now all I've got, I've got three equations, but they're all in terms of y and a. So I just need to find two here that I can use to eliminate either y or a. So I'm going to substitute here equation 2 into equation 1. So I'm going to replace the 2a with 6y and I'm going to get 9y minus 18 is equal to 6y. Subtract 6y from both sides and we get 3y minus 18 is 0. Add the 18, 3y is 18. Divide by 3 and we get y is equal to 6. Tidy, tidy all of that up again and at this point we're ready to put uh, these dimensions onto the rectangle so we're going to put those on the diagram and we're going to zoom it in so it's a bit easier to see now the area of that rectangle now 
instead of working out a and everything and combining it to get 3a, we can just do 6 times 9, which gives us an area of 54 centimetres squared. That's such a nice, neat solution for a problem which really we didn't have an awful lot of information to begin with. So uh, it's quite nice, I think. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Did you like this problem? Were you able to solve it? Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like on the video. And if uh, you're new to the channel or you haven't yet subscribed, please do consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss uh, any videos in the future, any problem solving videos. I upload a new problem solving video every Monday at 5 p.m. Thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next one. Have a great week, everybody. Till then, till the next one. Bye-bye.